Looking for a mount that is portable and lighter than your equatorial mount? Look no further than the Strain Wave mounts. I just got my ZWO AM3 from High Point Scientific. Let's unbox it. So what is a strain wave mount, also known as a harmonic mount? Traditional mounts move your telescope that are attached to the saddle by way of internal gears that are connected by small motors. Strain wave gearing uses a flexible spline with external teeth that is deformed by a rotating and elliptical plug that engage with the internal gear teeth of an outer spline. Sounds confusing. Some advantages to this gearing system is that it suffers no backlash it's compact and lightweight, has a high gear ratio, and a high torque capability. According to the ZWO AM3 manual, this mount is great for astrophotography because the mount has a low periodic error, stable transmission, and a high torque output. The AM3 features an 8 kilogram payload that can go up to 13 kilograms if you use a counterweight. That's optional. My Astro Gear weighs 13 pounds, or just around 6 kilograms, underneath the weight limit of the AM3. The AM3 can operate in two modes, out azimuth mode and equatorial mode. You can also move the mount through its own individual hand controller, through an app on your phone, or through a connected computer. So let's go ahead and unbox the AM3. This is the carbon fiber tripod in here. Feels like an empty box. Alright, the first thing we'll unbox is the TC40 carbon fiber tripod, portable and stable and durable. So the first thing I noticed about this tripod, it's pretty short. Um, looks like the legs definitely extend out. I believe the intent of this mount is to keep a low profile of your telescope mount so that the center of gravity is pretty low to the ground so it won't tip over. Nice and firm. tripod extension which I might get in the future. Looks like the legs extend out pretty good. So it looks like maybe another three feet or so in the air. So take this down. Let's see what's in here. So I believe that this secures on the legs, serving as some kind of tray, and you can put your weight in here and it helps give a little bit more stability, or you can put some uh, objects in here as well, just to keep the weight down low to the ground. So this is pretty nice, nice canvas bag. Now the AM3 is the second in the line that ZWO has offered. Their first one was the AM5, which has a, a larger payload capacity. So they came out with the AM3, I believe about a year afterwards. ZWO AM3, portable, precise, and stable. The box says heavy load capacity at eight kilograms uh, without the counterweight, 13 uh, kilograms with the counterweight, multifunction mode, equatorial mode, and alt azimuth mode. 
hand controller with a multiple terminal controls, Wi-Fi Bluetooth control through the mobile app, ASI Mount and ASI Air, ASCOM on the PC, precise control, strain wave gear and synchronization belt, and a lightweight design, extremely portable. And from ZWO, can't wait to open it up. Wow, so the AM3 comes in its own carrying case. Pretty awesome. Nice rubber handle here. And an instruction guide. And looks like that's it. Let's box this down. Let's check this out before we open up uh, the actual AM3 container. So it looks like here on the front, we have a periodic error test report, which is really, really nice. So the test results show that the periodic error report of this AM3, periodic error is a result of tiny imperfections in the mount gearing that shows up in the movement of the telescope. These errors can add to less than ideal image results for the astrophotographer. So the test results on this AM3 was done on March 14th of this year, which is about two months ago. The report lists the serial number of this AM3, the max and min error in arc seconds. So my report says that the minimum periodic error listed here is 5.2 arc seconds, and the maximum is 11 arc seconds. Since I use auto guiding when I'm doing my astrophotography, this should not be a problem. Second thing I have is the ZWO Harmonic Mount AM3 Quick Guide. So I'll go through this here shortly. We have it both in English and it looks like in Chinese as well. Let's open up the AM3. So it looks like it has a little locking. And everything is nice and snug in the carrying case that it came with. Now this carrying case feels like it is some kind of hard styrofoam plastic that has been particularly formed fitted to everything that's in here. We have a cable at first uh, that goes with the, the hand controller. So you can control the AM3 with this particular hand controller. So say like you wanna shoot some uh, lights and some darks, you can take the hand controller and uh, move around the mount. Now, uh, there is a fast LED button on here, so you can tap the buttons on here, which I'll learn eventually. And there can be a fast slewing or a slow, slow slewing. Can't even say that word. Uh, there is a joystick here. There's a T here, which I don't know quite anything about. There's another button here. So, uh, that's pretty nice. So, those two things. Like we have some uh, Allen wrenches, so I believe there should be two of them in here. Then then we have another cable. So actually, this cable I showed you here before is a USB USB B to an A cable. So this will connect the mount. Uh, to my ZWO Plus or Mini or uh, whatever device, or even a computer as well. And then, looks like the final, final thing we have is our AM3. Well, let's take a look at this. Pretty solid weight to the AM3. So it says AM3 on here. And then we have on the front, we have the engraving that ZWO has put on here. Very nice. Looks like a latitude scale and some knobs to adjust that as well. The altitude 
jasmine. Very, very solid. Uh, also features uh, a saddle that will accommodate a Lil's Maddie and uh, Dixon style type of mounts. So here on the front, it looks like we have a Bluetooth indicator. We have the USB uh, input here as well. There's an auto guide. Here it says HC, so that's, a, that's the hand controller symbol. And then the DC 12 volts, five amp input. And then we have a status light as well. It looks like here on the side, there's some screw holes here for an additional mounting. Uh, maybe like a finder scope. Pretty solid device. I cannot wait to get it out and test this out. Hey. Very nice. Pressing and holding this uh, cancel button puts the mount into the home position. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the unboxing of the AM3 straightway harmonic mount. I look forward to getting out and getting some photos of the night sky with it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and check out my other content. Until next time, clear skies.